Well, that was one we had in the daytime. Yes. And we ran it at night. Uh, payola came into effect around that time. Uh, people that in the radio business that had music programs, they were accusing the people handling it of accepting bribes to promote different picture, different uh, records. And as a consequence of that, Congress started getting into it. We found, which we did not know, that Dick Clark had a record company. But he said he, not one of his records ever appeared on his program. So I said, we're going to check it very carefully. I invited Dick Clark and his attorney, and I had Cy Siegel and Everly over to my house starting at 9 o'clock Saturday morning. My daughter, Laureen, who was young then, and thought he was terrific, and she wanted to stick her nose into the screening room to say hello to him. I don't know whether I ever agreed to it or not. You'll have to ask her. Uh, in any event, we spent the whole day with Dick and his lawyer. And we went through every record that we came out of his company, and not once that appear on, on the radio, in our pro on our program. And when that was over, I said, Dick, I'm going to go down to Congress and testify on your behalf, which I did, and they cleared them. <laughs>